A new feature in RAD Studio XE3 is the ability to create Delphi and C++ projects for the Macintosh that can be submitted to the Macintosh store. Let's create two projects, one Delphi and one C++. So in the Delphi app, we'll put a button down. We're just going to create the standard uh, FireMonkey sort of starting application, an edit box, and a list box. And for the Delphi event handler, we'll just say list box one items dot add the edit box contents and again the standard application and the same thing on the C++ side we'll put a button down and an edit box and list box and the event handler list box one items add edit one text now in the target platform tree, we have 32-bit windows for both of these projects. Let's add OS 10 as a target platform for both. Now you'll notice there's a plus sign under the OS 10 target platform tree. Normal application for both will just build a Macintosh application that we can deploy ourselves to the Macintosh and run. If we want to submit this application to the App Store, we'll select that node and activate it. When we do that, under Project Options, we now have an entitlement list. The entitlement list allows you to select the interactions that your application is going to have with the underlying operating system on the Macintosh. Access to a movie folder, picture folder, calendars, address books, and so on. You can set the same option for all the configuration, debug, and release. And under the provisioning, option in the project options. You'll see there's a new choice now, OSX Sandbox, which is what is required in order for submitting an OS 10 application to the store. A second box where you put your Mac developer profile, and a third box where you put the profile of any third-party installers that you might be using. In my case, I'm just going to create an application without an installer, so I only need to provide my Mac developer profile. On the Macintosh side, I've requested a developer keys. I'm a member of the De Macintosh developer program. And I have certificates that I've requested and have saved in my keychain. I can set the Mac developer profile string that points to the certificate, which is over in the keychain. I can put the whole name of the certificate key, or I can just select the first part, third party Mac developer application, and not have to include my name. What that Mac developer profile does is it allows the IDE to launch the code signing tool over on the Macintosh, which is a command line tool, that, and the IDE will then build an application package can be uploaded to the Macintosh store. And I can build the application. Once I've built the application, I can now use the deploy for each of the projects. And what deploy is going to do, it's going to build the application package by launching the command line tool. Now it says code sign wants to sign using key David in Tersimony in your keychain. You want to allow the access to this item. I said yes, this is a message coming from the Macintosh, so I'll allow it. That shows that the IDE is talking to the code signing command line tool. So once I've built my C application and done the code signing, over on the Macintosh side, I'll have a PKG file. I can go to the RAD PA server 10 scratch directory, and inside of my directory, I'll find the app bundle for my Mac Store app, and the PKG file. Once I have the package file, I have two choices. I can use Xcode to upload and submit my application to the Mac Store, or I can use iTunes Connect, which is a web-based way of doing your development. So let's go in to iTunes Connect. So now we're in iTunes Connect, and we can log in with our Apple ID. And once I log into iTunes Connect, I can go and manage my applications and use this to add, view, or manage any applications. I don't have any applications right now, so let's add a new app. Now the default language is English. The app name is going to be C++ Builder Mac Store App. So I need to create a Macintosh Apple ID, and we'll give it a bundle identifier. Once I've done that, I can go back and I can choose that bundle ID that I just created and we'll set the availability date and price tier, make it a free app. 
it's version one and it's a utility you can set a secondary category or not we can rate it set all these content descriptions we can give it a description a sample c plus plus builder demo app c plus plus ui demo and we'll point this to my blog i'm david the last part of this screen is to choose a screenshot that is a specific size and once the screenshot is done then itunes connect shows me a summary of the information we can go to the details and it has a button here say ready to upload the binary so my product doesn't use any cryptography so it doesn't have any restrictions it says i'm all ready to upload the binary using the application loader now I can start up the application loader. Give it my Apple ID. So I want to deliver my app. So I'll click deliver your app. And it's the C++ Builder Mac Store app. That's the right uh, application information. Now I can go to the package file, which is down here. Say open. And it adds the application package. Once you've uploaded your application to the Mac Store, you just need to wait for Apple to approve it and have it appear. All of the information to help you is available in the doc wiki, which takes you through the steps for building your Macintosh OS X application and submitting it to the App Store.